Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Check it out, guys. Carolina Reapers. Now, these are a product of Mexico for the new members to the channel. There's been quite a few of y'all. Whether you subscribed, which some of you have, and some of you are curious about things that I've got to say. And some of you are just the Johnny Scoville disciples that have your head buried in the sand. And no matter what, I swear that guy could go, he could do a live eating children and these people would still follow him, hanging on every word he says. But some people actually want to know more. They want to be informed. If you want me to get into the meat and potatoes of why I'm not a troll and why I say what I say because I say it's the truth, we can do the back history. I have no problem with that. I can lay it out right here, right now. Or it's up to you. You want to hear it? You want to hear the story? Let's get into these peppers. Every, uh, most people, most everyone on the, this FTG movement has a personal or had a personal relationship with him, know him very well. And some people have learned along the way. <clears throat> These are not real big. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. This is what came. I, I didn't grow them. OK, it is what it is. But I believe there's 15 of these. And regardless of size, they are really, really hot. But <clears throat> pour these out here. I do not mind telling my side of the story and I'm not trolling this man. I don't wish ill on anyone. I don't hate even, I don't even hate this person, but when you get on here and you grandstand and you're a self-professed kingmaker, holier than thou, self-righteous, end all be all that be Johnny Scoville, not even your real name, of course, but here's the thing. We all know it's not his real name. It's a YouTube thing, but that wasn't always the case. Get into that. Let's start with this pepper right here. Well, your name ain't the pineapple. Of course it's not. How many times have I said my real name on here? I started out with my real name. People nicknamed me that, and that's how it just kind of took off. Carolina Reapers. So this is going back, what, five years ago. I was friends with Bree, his fiance. I don't even know. I, he, I don't know. I mean, in Australia. I was friends with her maybe a year or more before I even knew about him. And um, we talked quite often, actually. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to try to tell this story. I'm telling y'all, these things are hot. Y'all don't believe me. You're so small. <clears throat> but, um, through evolution of our friendship, I did end up finding out that they were in a relationship. And I was like, wow, okay. I've known her for quite a while. I kind of made the joke to her because I knew her pretty well. That, um, you, uh, I wonder what his real name is. He said it's Johnny Scoville. That's really, isn't it? I said, come on, Johnny Scoville. It can't be his real name. Yeah, that's his real name. I don't know if they were engaged at that time, but they were in a relationship. And she didn't even know. So, at least that's what she told me. A little time goes by. I know he makes these videos and posts about how he'll help anyone who needs help starting a YouTube channel. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even make making a YouTube channel at the time. I already kind of had the channel from years ago with the bodybuilding and nutrition and stuff. And um, I just kind of let it dormant. The pandemic rolls around. And then everybody's looking for something to do. And I started that. And I was like, he's always saying you'll help people. Well, I'll reach out to him. I reached out to him on Messenger. And you can see where the message was read. I think I just asked a question about chocolate bootless because I was starting to grow chocolate bootless. Of course, he didn't know how to grow peppers because he don't grow peppers. He knows nothing about it. But I was looking to start the YouTube channel. I was asking for some advice. I thought I'd start with that. And it went on deaf ears. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Just let it go. And then later, he puts out another post or video, whatever it was, about how he'll help anyone putting on a song and dance. And I saw through it immediately. I'm like, this dude's fake. I mean, he may be really eating peppers, but his persona is fake. 
He's putting out a fallacy. So if he's putting out a fallacy, I made a little video. Throw it on YouTube. I reached out to Bree. So Bree, make sure he sees this. Just okay. That was in the evening time. I went to bed. Three, four o'clock in the morning, whatever it was. I got my phone was blowing up from this dude. Messenger, everything. Threats. Lots of them. Strongly worded words. But the ones that stick out the most were the things where he said, If you do you know who you're messing with? If I was still the same person I used to be, I would rape your wife and your children. The protector of women. If I was still the same person I used to be, I would hunt you down like a dog, rape your wife and children. Okay, so that made me see red. All this happened during the night while I'm asleep. I'm waking up to all this in the morning. I'm like, I started reaching out, trying to FaceTime him and everything. No answer. Then he sends a text. I guess he had calmed down or something, but he still had a few things to say. We went back and forth, back and forth. And he said, I'd still help your channel. I didn't have any clue who you were. I said, I saw where the message was read, man. You're a liar. It's getting hot, guys. <clears throat> and uh, long story short, before I lose my train of thought, I may have to pick this story back up. <laughs> We ended up squashing that. And he, he said <clears throat> that he would help me with my channel. And he's like, a lot hotter than I thought they were going to be. I thought I could go through this with no problem. Uh, and I was like, all right, I appreciate that. We let it go. We squashed everything. Bygones be bygones. Hot, hotter heads prevailed. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Ooh. <clears throat> Uh, so that's when I knew the real person that he was. And then later, this bullying stuff, I wasn't involved in it. But his brother, well, I kind of was, because I was the one who recorded the, what his brother tried to upload of him snorting a line. I saved the video before he deleted it. And then he re-uploaded it again. And I get people telling me, hey, it's back up again. So I got it. I got it. He deleted it again, but it was already saved. That 15 seconds people were talking about. <sighs> uh, that was on me. I did that. But we all knew what we saw. I was friends. With, we were all friends. But at this time, we, we, we saw too much. And we're like, man, they're all fakes. And later we found out Tommy, Brett, was an infomercial guy. We saw the video. And there's a lot kept coming down the path. Well, he... Went into everyone's live stream and said, if you, the light can't live in the dark, and if you're going to follow Tom Bailey and any of them, then you are blocked and banned, and I'm bullying everybody. Pick a side. I'm not, I ain't picking a side. Well, I still pretty much kept quiet, and I made a little video making a joke. That's what started a lot of these jokes where you see people, and I didn't say nothing else. Well, Johnny gets in the comments, and I was just me with comedy. Johnny gets in the comments and starts attacking. Well, people start attacking him. I ain't even had time to say nothing yet. Before I could do my reply, he's done blocked me on every social media there is. Just like that. I didn't even get to give it like I wanted to give it. It reminded me all of that back in the day. The first time. When I saw his true colors. And then I see him get on here like Mr. Preacher Man. And don't get me wrong, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I love God. And you may disagree with me on this, but I'm not into religion. Uh, I believe the Bible is a good moral base, but I know that it has been interpreted way too many times and changed in a lot of religions. I grew up in it, and I've seen a lot of, a lot of religions change their, their stripes, so to speak, to get viewers, get church members. So I don't, I don't kneel to that altar. But... I know the real Johnny, and I don't think he's quite an altar kneeler either, but he plays one on TV. The self-professed kingmaker, 
He can't even make himself a king. The show was a bomb. He calls us failed YouTubers. My channel's growing every day. And then that, he's a failed Huluer. I don't know, that's just my side and why I say things. Now that I've got some attention and people want to hear it, I will tell it. I've been telling it. And when I get called out, which he don't want to name names, but he says specifics that we know who he's talking about. And one, he has told everyone that he is saying happy birthday to my daughter, Megan, over and over and over again. And he has never done that. Yes, he has talked to her through FaceTime and stuff. We were all friends. I let she was a, a fan of this of his show. And I did not. You know, you don't drag the kids through the divorce. So she to this day still does not know about this. She still watches this channel. <clears throat> and as far as little bit, my five year old, like in that little short where she did the flip bird. She don't know what that means. And that was not taught to her. Well, she probably learned it off of watching YouTube or something. <laughs> Maybe my video. <laughs> but she does watch my videos. But that in the in the video was not even that was impromptu. She just did that, and I almost bust out laughing. I had to actually take a take a break for a second and laugh. But I, I probably shouldn't have allowed it. But it was just it was too iconic not to. Sorry, it is what it is. You might say, "How can you let it?" No, not. Whew. But now it's been rehashed. The guy's got dirt. He sends people behind the scenes to attack us. And we attack back and then he calls us trolls. Same for UK Chili Queen. I didn't say nothing about her at all. Yet she's going to get on social media and blast me. Just because she knew me. God bless America. Those old jokers are hot now. <sighs> Say what you want to about the size. Ooh, it's not the size of the boats, the motion of the ocean. <sighs> I may not have a big one. I may not can hit the bottom of a tuna can, but I can hit all the sides. <laughs> I may have a small one, but I love every foot. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Tomorrow, I got those <sighs> Trinidad Scorpions. <sighs> I swear, these are small Carolina Reapers, but they're as hot as any big Carolina Reaper I've ever eaten. And Carolina Reaper ain't the world's hottest pepper. But these little suckers pack, pack punch. Y'all been seeing what I've been eating lately. And then use that platform. It's almost political. Calling people racist and politics and stuff. By using what I really can. All means necessary. How dare you go after a woman. Whatever you can use. You're gay. All this kind of stuff, man. Come on. We're not fighting in person. We're not slapping women around. Especially when we're defending ourselves and when our names have been brought up. <clears throat> but when it's online with typing, come on. I can battle a woman just as quick as a man. She started it. I just defend myself. You started, I finish it. <clears throat> mm. Fifteen. Oh. Oh. But yeah, I have the right to defend myself. And that's just what I did. That was not a preemptive strike by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, it's killing right here. Oh. Oh. Whew. There's 
no joke, son. They'll separate the men from the Boy Scouts, I'm telling you. I'm lying, I'm dying. Whew. Ah. Oh, my God. Huh. Huh. Oh. About an eight on the pain scale. Oh. Huh. I'm sure I forgot quite a bit to tell. That's what makes it hard when you're eating peppers like that, but I think I got the gist out. Whew, sweating, y'all. Ah! Get some people in the comments. Nah, I'm not gonna. Not even gonna. Ooh. Read the comments for yourself. It's hilarious. And they don't come with no punches. They just easy. Easy, easy, easy. The trolls he sends over are <laughs> They're too easy. Uh. Whew. Lord have mercy. I think we're starting to back off a little bit. Those hit hard, guys. Yeah, it's backing off. Oh, man. <sighs> what, I ate nine of peppers three to four times the size of these yesterday. I think these got me a little bit more burnt, and that was 15. <sighs> you had one of these peppers. Hey, let's say 12 to 15 grams. Uh, how many grams is in this? Uh, I can't read that. Anyway, ah, uh, here's my specs. Uh, Forty grams. Holy crap. I think they dried out a little bit, too. They've been sitting for a while. Uh, they were probably 40 grams when they packed them. Uh, I bet they wasn't 25, 30 grams when I just ate. Uh, uh, oh, man. All right, y'all. Back in about the six to seven range now. That was a burner.